So you want to become a successful software engineer, huh? Well, that's easy. Step one, cry. Step two, Google. Step three, pretend you totally had it under control when someone walks by. Welcome to tech, where half the job is just convincing your code, your coworkers, and your imposter syndrome that you know what you're doing. Let's be real. There's this myth that to succeed in software, you have to be a 10x developer who breathes binary and writes flawless code in their sleep. But spoiler alert, that person doesn't exist. Success in this industry isn't about being a genius with 69 GitHub repos and a dark theme obsession. It's about learning how to learn, knowing when to ask for help, and surviving the madness without setting your hair on fire. Because here's the truth. Technology moves faster than your mental health can keep up. One week it's React, next week it's Quick. Suddenly everyone's building full apps in Markdown, and no one knows what an API is anymore. Future's now, old man. If you're trying to memorize every new tool, you're gonna lose. The real skill? Adapting. Knowing how to Google the right things, skim docs like a detective, and use AI like a tool to help you improve and understand new things better and faster, not to do your work for you. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better, I am better. You don't need to know everything. You need to know how to learn anything fast. And speaking of learning how to learn, writing clean, maintainable code still matters, like a lot. But if you're done copying AI slop or doom scrolling tutorials that only work on the creator's machine, Scrimba, today's sponsor, has a better idea. What if the video was the IDE? Enter Scrims, interactive screencasts where you can pause and edit code right inside the video. Like hacking the matrix, but legally, of course. Want to be a front-end dev? Build an AI startup but don't know what an AI agent is? Scrimba's got full career paths for you. From front-end wizard to full-stack chad to AI megamind. With structured paths, bite-sized lessons, real-world projects, and AI feedback that reviews your code and prompts you to get better. Links below, go touch some scrims. And while we're at it, let's talk about the thing no one tells you in coding boot camps. Your communication skills matter more than your code. Seriously. You could write the most beautiful, clean, optimized code in existence. But if no one understands what it does or why it's there, congrats. You've just built a black box no one wants to touch. Real success comes from being able to explain your work, ask for feedback, give updates, and collaborate without sounding like a sentient merge conflict. Talk to your team. Uh, documentation is not a dirty word. Free! Free! Yeah! And no, Slack is not optional. Think of it as an IDE, but for communicating with humans, not code. I know it might sound harder, but that's okay. Now let's address the greasy monster under every dev's bed. We all want to write clean code, scalable architecture, perfect systems, but deadlines laugh at your dreams. Sometimes you just have to duct tape that feature together and hope it survives staging. And that's okay, as long as you know it's flex tape. This video is not sponsored by flex tape, by the way. Great engineers don't eliminate technical debt, they manage it. They leave comments, create follow-up tickets, draw lines between this is fine for now and this will set production on fire in six months. It's not about perfection, it's about progress with eyes wide open. But no one makes it alone. Behind every confident dev is a team, a mentor, a friend who explained Git rebase that one time at 2 a.m. The most successful engineers are the ones who ask questions, seek feedback, and help others grow. No one is judging you for not knowing everything. In fact, the dev who pretends they do? Yeah, that's the one who's about to create a pull request that will regress half the app back to version 0.13. So if you're here, wondering if you're cut out for this, if you're good enough, smart enough, fast enough, uh, breathe. You're already doing it. You're learning, failing, googling, building, and breaking things. That's the job. Every senior dev was once a junior dev who couldn't center a div. You don't have to be perfect, you just have to keep going. But listen carefully. The most important advice by far to becoming a successful software engineer is to 